unlike, unlike the other researchers, these sort of more high priority weed, the Turtle Lab, we have buckets and sticks. So just let him bite this stuff and he's having fun. Oh, that's the bitey end. I guess the sort of stereotypical view of science is that it's, it's rigidly structured and it's, it's re repetitive and it's over and over again and it's tedious almost. Sure, you may have to do tedious jobs at certain points, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of fluidity, there's a lot of sway within it. All right, let's do this. I've always had the passion. I've always had a sense of connection with the, with the natural world. I come to school, you know, you need to get the marks, you need to get the credit, and you know, you can show people what you've learned. And the theory is important. You need to have a basis, a foundation for, for understanding. But for me, the, the real experience and the real knowledge is, is, uh, is really gleaned from going out there and actually doing something. So for me, I love it. I go out into the woods whenever I can. During the beginning, we were out catching hundreds of turtles, like literally, we just filled the canoe. But right now, uh, because they're done nesting, we go out and yeah, we, we stock the traps with, with rotting fish, which is fun. Mm -hmm. uh, we check them. That's a snapper trap. And it smells terribly of rotting fish. It's doing its job. Male. So there he is, bullfrog. And they need a male, so I want to bring him back, but I don't. Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. I'm gonna put him in the boot. Yeah, we'll put him in the boot. That's nice. Some, some quality thinking. Maybe stop off the top with the life jacket so he doesn't get out. He doesn't hurt himself. Beautiful. Hey guys, where are the guys who need the bullfrogs, or where should I put a male? 